Howdy, Beeflo Bart here, and welcome. All right. Cindy Studios has got their um, new video out today, which has got their Discord all up in arms over their cool new asset pack that they're going to be releasing soon. So, don't know how many people I'm actually going to get to come visit my video tonight. I waited later than normal because of that they released it at the same time that I was going to start the video and it's still you know the, the hype is still going pretty strong over there um, so I'm going to update a few things on here and to start off with we need some music okay can't use the exact same sounds that are in the um, the original game naturally um, so uh, another thing that I've done is taken a bunch of screenshots which you know when you do it it creates a uh, PCX file which I had to open up and just enlarge because they were like terrible so I linked a song in discord that was from uh, Technoax and going to convert that over now there's a couple different ways you can actually add sound in uh, one of them being with um, putting in a wave file or the other of adding an audio component in and if you want higher quality sound then yeah you want the audio component then you could use a, a WM4 WMV MP3 that kind of format music or sounds but normally what you've got is a 16-bit wave and that's what uh, hi I am trying to type here uh, let's see audio so I'm gonna go ahead and create my folders get them ready and music now what I, I use is audacity and all I'm going to do is open with uh, Audacity and as soon as it comes up there it is and all I'm going to do is just straight export export audio and I'm going to change the name of it well it's fine I'll leave the name the way it is um, sure I'm in the right folder here um, actually put it in, in the same folder that it was in oh so many folders I'm going to have to do some organization here soon uh, let's see music that's fine. We're going to put it right there. And I'm saving it as a WAV file, 16-bit PCM. And, okay. And as soon as it's done, I can go ahead and close that. And, no. So it's just that easy to go ahead and convert it. And then all I'm going to do is left-click and drag it into the project. And that are it. I'm going to hit play on it. It's going to take a, a moment to queue up the first time. It's not super loud. Go ahead and hit save all, save selected, and I'll go ahead and pull up the actual sound file. really kind of soft and passive kind of sets a soundscape we're in town so it's really passive for right now I'm gonna leave it at full volume but all I'm gonna do is go to my blueprints open level blueprint and on begin play play sound at location 
Crypt of Stam. Now later on, if it's too loud, I can actually come back in here and change the volume right there. Don't need any set attenuations uh, or concurrencies. Actually, what I do need to do is actually go ahead and create this as a queue. And since this is going to be something I want to loop, I'm going to check there and leave everything else the same. I should change that over to the queue. So now it's going to play continuous. As soon as it ends, it'll automatically restart again. So now we hit play. And that's how I add just you know good passive sounds into it. Um, I'm gonna have to remake the um, the landscape material so that whenever I start drawing out the uh, the pathways and stuff, that'll work a little bit better. Said so, um, gonna be working primarily on this project on stream instead of doing stuff in the background. That way you can see what's going on with it. You know I've still haven't sorted out which buildings that I want to use. But we have our character, we're in top-down mode. Now one of the things that I did was I created a buttload of screenshots of the original game. Alright, so you got Pepin right here, and this is our hero, our fountain. You know, our fountain's not exactly the same, but if you look at the camera angle, you're going to probably end up uh, changing the camera angle on the player so that um, we can actually get it a little bit closer to how it looks here. Very limited view. Um, so we're just taking different screenshots from around town just to kind of get an idea of how the paths and everything else look. Um, the side of the church with you know the gravestones and stuff like that. Um, continuing on over here, this is an entryway to get back into I think level 5 or level 10, I can't remember. Uh, the bridge is very, very subtle, very small bridge. Uh, should be easy enough to replicate. We still don't have any foliage yet. I'm not worried about the trees and rocks and stuff until I get a little bit better material set up and then start drawing in the canals and things like that. And Adria, that's whenever you, you have your mouse on top of her, then she gets outlined and you see her, her name inside here. And this is just the uh, the split. And I don't know why there's a bridge going across to here, because you can't really go over there. And of course, Wirt. And some of the UI stuff. And was kind of playing around with the ideas of, can we use this? No, not necessarily. Um, we can use a short-term version of, perhaps. Uh, but what I've done is, I'll, I'll show you here in just a second, is remove all of the text from inside the windows. We'll probably end up having to just recreate something similar to this so that we're not actually copying directly from the game. But short term, I've got this cut out, I've got the inventory cut out, and the, the bottom part. And this, of course, is the um, quest log and these skills or spells. Um, so here I've, I've chopped out all of the uh, the data that's inside here. So if we wanted to use this short term, we could, and then we just bring this image into it in a widget blueprint, and then we can put data in here to showcase like player name, player class, level, experience, and so forth. Same thing with um, the inventory. But if nothing else will give me an idea of how I can actually lay it out later. So if we actually try to put in the, um, the stuff here. So if we go to our widgets, we got an assets folder, audio, and images. So what I'll do here is kind of operating off screen too. Um, Where in the hell is my folder? I don't need you open. 
Yes, for some unknown reason, uh, Windows 7 is acting really, really strange. I know that's hard to imagine. So, if we want to bring in the um, the HUD image, which is basically this, with the names taken off of the buttons and nothing in the inventory slots or anything. All right, so quick save all, save selected. Widgets, actually, we've got a player HUD here. We're going to ignore that one and actually create a new one. And we're going to go to user interface, widget blueprint, um, HUD underscore W. And we can go in here and actually go back to that image and come back here, grab an image, anchor it to the bottom, change the offset here to zero and zero. Size, we'll worry about in just a minute. Let's go ahead and go to our brush. And the original size was 1920 by 462. We can see that in our image size here. So, go for our height, which should be 462. Now, that looks pretty good overall. Just need to lower it down. And let's try negative four, six, two. Undo. I said negative four, sixty-two. Thank you, dumbass thing. I don't know why I didn't take the, uh, the minus there. So that'll put that up there. And let's go ahead and make sure that it's... Well, we can leave that at zero for right now. Because it'll stay up there. We don't want anything to override on top of it. So if we hit Compost and Save, go into our... Mm, top-down blueprint, which we're going to have to change this later on. So we've got our escape menu functionality here. And where is event begin play? Right there. Um, ugh. It's set up for uh, VR to work as well, but I don't care. So first thing we're going to do is um, let's go ahead and create widget. Get reference to player controller. Widget's going to be HUD widget blueprint. And I'll end up deleting this crap later. Uh, we'll do add to viewport. Connect you and connect you. Compost, save, and if we hit play now, it's going to look a little bit strange here in, in this view, but let's go to New Pi Window. So there we go. Of course, the mana and health is not going to work just yet. That greatly reduces our visibility, though. Not a fan of a huge HUD like that. I don't think we need this part down here, and of course these are going to have to be redesigned as well. Um, you had four buttons here, these four buttons, what did they do? You had character, quest, map, menu, inventory, and spells. Since all of these have hotkeys, mm, I'm thinking all these buttons can actually be minimized and done away with. All we really need is something like this right here. 
So I think what I'll end up doing is I'll create a whole new system for the um, the heads up display because I think that's just a little bit too much. You can see that it takes up way too much of the screen. As if you know you weren't limited enough in the original game. But I think that that's just a little bit too much. So we're going to get rid of it. And I'll come back in later and actually make a, a better version. Just want to see what it looked like with that in there. And yeah, like I said, that's just, it's too much. It, I think even half that size would be too much. And all we really need is the spell section right here to see what's in our hotbar. And then we'll have to number them like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could do one through zero, so we could actually have ten, so that we can just use the uh, the, the the number keys. Uh, I think that would end up working a lot better. But you don't know until you look at it and see, right? But I can see in this right here how big that is. It's just taking up way too much of the screen. So if we do now. So we've got a lot more visibility, but we need to zoom in a little bit more with our camera. And if you look at that, a lot more zoomed in. Look at our viewport, and we have two cameras that are a mile up in the frickin' sky. Um, camera one is the actual camera that we need to be concerned with. So we'll just take a look at that and see how it looks. Alright, so that, that's good enough for now. We may come in a little bit closer, but you have to consider how much we're losing of our overall view. The, the other idea is actually setting up to where you could maybe use your mouse wheel to scroll in or out or set it up in a menu, but the mouse wheel to control the camera I think would look good. Now, so you can just scroll out to get farther out, scroll in to get more of a zoom effect. And that's just adding, since we're looking at our position here, it's really only editing the X so we can actually manipulate the X value. So let's put this at 175, 0 and 0. So we can just manipulate the, um, the X value only and the camera's position and use the mouse wheel to, to scroll in and out. I think that will probably be uh, best off overall. So, anybody got any questions on this project or suggestions or anything like that? Please just pipe right on in. All right, so we're gonna take a look at a couple different things too. We've got our character, um, our regular first-person character, and that was the kind of other thing that kind of interested me a little bit was what would happen if we created the ability to also do a first person mode or a third person mode so you're actually in here playing in third person it changes some of the the dynamics of the combat you know if you're getting swamped you know the typical Diablo thing is the creatures are coming at you sometimes three four five eight of them at a time and then you've got ranged, like the skeletal archers and things like that that are shooting at you from a distance, or the succubus or hell spawns or whatever else. And you can at least turn around and look at them. The original Diablo wasn't in this kind of a view. So, you know, that's kind of an unusual thing to think about. All the Diablo games were. As far as I remember, we're all top down. So this was what you had, and 
when you've got all these things piled up around you, you're trying to figure out how you're going to attack each one of them. So I don't have anything around me. I'm, I'm just clicking now. Uh, your loot, you know, you had everything from money to whatever else. I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate and I'm just going to do an NPC test. Just a quick test here and we're not going to need any of this stuff. We're not going to need follow camera, camera boom, or FPS camera. And let's change our character out for a skeleton. There we go. And offhand, let's get rid of the shield. All I'm going to do is go to right here and clear. So if we want them to have an offhand weapon, we can add it in later. Um, same thing for a main hand weapon. We can also come in here and hit clear, and it'll be totally unarmed. And now if we put this NPC test into the map, let's rotate you around. So right now we don't have any attack mechanics or anything like that. You know, when you're you're moused over the top of something, it's not checking to see if it's clear or anything else. So I think in the next video what I'll do is start working on the uh, the basic combat systems. But I don't really need combat systems. I want to start off with the town first and start going from there. Like um if I want to set up this to be can't remember which one that I was looking at that um, looked like uh, uh, Griswold or Blacksmith. Cannot remember. Uh, let's see here. I think it was what well, him, but it was one from Pirates, I think it was. First made or something of that nature. Get back on the right damn thing. It's because I didn't retarget the one, the regular. I targeted the uh, retargeted the bear only. No, it wasn't him. No, it wasn't him. That's who we were using initially as the um, the player, but. No, not a deckhand. It was um. First mate. Not the same, but similar. I still need to sort through and figure out which buildings are going to be best because uh, these aren't going to cut it. These were just temporary placeholders. Uh, I know that there's some other ones that look a little bit more appropriate. There's our Griswold. Could do other stuff too. I mean, give him a hammer and whatnot. But that's the biggest thing is I want to get the music added in. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot tonight because I'm not going to have as much of a, an audience due to other stuff and starting late. But you guys let me know what you think on this project, and we'll continue on with it. Um, so we're setting up NPCs. Like I said, I need to go through and pick out buildings that are going to be a little bit more appropriate for what we're doing. 
Vikings isn't cutting it. Um, don't like this weird shadow that's on these things. Hadn't noticed that before from that asset pack. But I wanted to get town pretty much laid out before I start getting into... And I'm not going to make all the NPCs functional yet. I just want them present on the map and their normal locations with the right animations and stuff. Um, in fact, probably use this one for Blacksmith. Even though it's not necessarily correct. I said there's going to be a lot of fiddling around trying to figure out what's what and how these um, buildings are going to lay out. I said we don't have to make it exactly like the original game, but we need to make it close enough to where people can like, oh, okay, I know where I need to go. I need to um, walk down the path over here, go north, and then cut back to the right so I can go over here to where the church is. So the layout might be the same, but the buildings need to be, you know, what we have available to us. Um, so yeah, on my time, I will go through and pick out the buildings, figure out what's going to be best for uh, what we're doing. Then again, also, there's the idea of can we have uh, third person while we're in town but when we actually go into um, to do combat do we do top down or do we just keep it all the same you know you guys gotta let me know what you want to see and and what's what on this all right well we're gonna go ahead and close it out now and shut the uh, video down early uh, want to thank everybody for stopping by if you did come by and we will see you guys soon